Welcome everybody. Today I'm going to show you how to sell um, like drugs and other illegal uh, products, stuff you might have maybe uh, liberated from other people's cargo holds, if you get my drift. Uh, no, but it's about the no questions asked dealers. Uh, and they're, they mainly are in four locations, one in each system. Uh, no, I think three, yeah, four. And they're generally the scrapyards. Uh, but so for Daymar, you got Brios. For R Corp, it is uh, Tammy and Sons, I think. And for um, Microtech, it is Devlin Scrap. And the other one is. Well, what's the one for uh, Hurston? Ornith and Salvage or something like that. But long story short, you can do trade routes by selling drugs illegal stuff weevil eggs that you loot out of uh out of um cargo holds whether it's npc or player and you can make some money on it so we're gonna hop in my silent it's a starter ship it only holds it six scu i'm gonna go to uh one of the drug selling places that have a jump marker on walla or an art corp which is on lyria and then i'm gonna be going to the place in wallet so join me on that journey won't you so we're here at lyria in our corp and we want to find the orphanage. Now, this is just one site of many. There is a good number of sites where you can buy illicit materials, um, such as like maize, toxin, uh, that kind of stuff. They all vary in prices and, of course, what they offer. But what you have to be careful of is these are spaces that have zero armstice. So yeah, so you have to don't you don't want to linger. You want to get in, buy your stuff, and get out. Very quick and easy. Very, and you don't want to you don't want to take your time. I want to do this to show you how much you can make having a starter ship like a Titan, um, you know, the Silen, even a C8R or C8X, I should say. They all have like four and six and eight SCU of cargo. Silent has six personally. What we're gonna do is we're gonna bring in our ping a little bit. Then we get landed. I will uh I'll show you what you're looking for. So it's always a good idea to come to these armed, even if you are white suited, which I highly recommend you do. Um it's always a good idea to come to these armed because you never know what you're going to be running into because i remember these are non-armstice areas shut your door up we would come in here i come in here cycle the pressure lock and so it's a good idea to uh, just go through the place, give it a quick run through. These are drugs and stuff that you can grab as well if you really want to bring them with you and sell them. Okay, so we're going to come here. So you see here we have a couple of different uh, drugs that we could possibly buy. Each one has a varying, uh, varying price that they buy, that they sell for elsewhere. But we're going to want to go for the most expensive one, which is generally Slam at this location specifically. We're going to buy our six. So that's 83K. So to do this, you'll need about 90 to 100K, depending on what you're looking to, to move. We got our six. Now we're just going to get out of Dodge. All right. So then now we're going to head over to the scrapyard at Walla. And we're gonna sell our stuff. I shall see you there. Okay, so the good thing about scrapyards is that they're always a diamond on the planet surface. So the Walla scrapyard is Samson and Son Salvage Center. I apologize, it's a Tammy, it's like Samson and Sons. And again, there's no um, no arms this, so you have to be careful when you go in. Don't be afraid if there is somebody there to just fly on by 
and you could either hit up another one of the salvage yards. There is also a no questions asked dealer, because that's what this is about, at Grim Hex. And at, uh, I think, Creel 5 it is, there's a no questions asked terminal there too, but they take extremely limited quantities. So when you're coming to sell at these uh, at these salvage yards, it's always the same building. Might be situated slightly differently, but it's always this building. Hmm. Didn't got any better. We're gonna come in through here, come in through here, and then we're gonna sell our stuff here. So remember that we bought our stuff for 86k. It's not going to work. So we we made fourteen k just off six SEU. So do the math. Even if you only have say twenty k to start, you can make four, five, six k, and then you can just keep doing this run. There are other runs that are similar. I will post the link to uh, SC Trade Tools and UEX Corp in my uh, in the description because they are what you'll use to find the exact locations. I'm not going to go through every location, tell you uh, exactly like what's what they sell because there's no point when the information is already out there. And there you have it. A quick and easy way that you as a starter or even just for something a little different to do if you're a veteran can make you know 100k in an hour easy and all you need is 100k to start but you can start with anything really you can start with 20k and that'll get you one box and then do that a couple times and get two boxes and so on and so forth until it keeps ramping up so you can get that cutlass black haul a um you know any of those other types of cargo ships so anyways, thank you very much, everybody. If you like this video, please be sure to leave a like, a comment, and subscribe, because I want to know what you guys want to see. I want to know like what you guys liked, what you guys didn't like, what you guys liked, disliked. I apologize. And I will see you in the next one.